for a rematch in our next heavyweight super fight. Two of the world's top ten trying to stay in the hunt for a shot at number one. Now making his way to the glory ring, it was his trademark right hand that ended the first battle between these two. Please welcome Arrow Zimmerman! Good. Ranked number eight in the heavyweight division, 27-year-old Errol Zimmerman. Incredible record of 100 wins, nine losses, and one draw. Oh, man. When you say 100 wins, it's got to send chills down people's spines already. Crazy. One punch KO power. Great combination puncher. Double, triple, right hooks. Bone-breaking right roundhouse kick. This guy's a threat. And no matter whether you win or lose against Errol Zimmerman, which most people have lost, uh, it's just, you're going to get hurt. Zimmerman needs a win. He comes into this fight riding a two-fight losing streak. And with revenge on his mind, this big, big man comes in fresh off of a win at Glory 7 Milan. Here Rico Verhoeven! At only 24 years old, Rico Verhoeven comes in with a ton of ring experience and a 39-9 record. Yeah, Rico Verhoeven got a really sneaky straight right hand, especially at the right roundhouse kick. And once he finds his rhythm, he's very fast for a big guy. Tricky right low kick on the inside of his opponent's back leg. It's a very rare move, actually. Uses a lot of movement. Uh, he actually did that when he fought Semi Schultz in the Grand Slam heavyweight tournament on New Year's Eve 2012. Schultz got the decision, but Schultz said that Rico Verhoeven was the toughest fighter that he fought in the entire tournament. Ranked number 10 in the glory heavyweight division. Well, this is a super fight between two guys who really don't like each other, Rico Verhoeven and Errol Zimmerman. The winner stays in title contention. The loser goes back in line. Yeah, these two gentlemen match up well in terms of age, height, and weight, but the big difference is in the experience with Zimmerman. Ladies and gentlemen, the fighter standing on my right and fighting out of the blue corner has over 100 pro fights and carries with him true one-punch knockout power. His professional record, 100 wins, nine losses, one draw, 41 big wins by knockout. At 1.96 meters, six feet, five inches tall, and weighing in at 113.9 kilos, 251 pounds. Representing the island of Curacao, here is Aaron. Bone Crusher Zimmerman! Here now is his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Trained in boxing and kickboxing, he found it hard to find opponents as an amateur because of his size. At 39 wins, 9 losses, 10 wins by knockout. He stands 1.96 meters, 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 114.8 kilos, 253 pounds. He's here tonight in New York City representing the Netherlands. Here is Rico, the Prince Verhoeven. And once again, your referee in charge is Chris Wagner. Sometimes you keep someone knocked down, you go to the neutral corner, I tell you to go to, remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard, touch gloves. Judge. Well, at least they touch gloves. Yeah, anytime you have two heavyweights going at it, Expect some fireworks early and often, but when you add the 
animosity between these two. You got a great storyline. Rico Verhoeven and Errol Zimmerman. Three three-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. <laughs> High kick from Zimmerman. We're gonna see every shot thrown with maximum power. Who do you think is gonna win this heavyweight battle? Let us know. Follow us on Twitter at hashtag Glory9. And remember, you gotta check out the website, gloryworldseries.com, and our Facebook page, Glory Sports International. And our Twitter uh, address is at Glory underscore WS. Oh, nice front push kick by Verhoeven. All the respect here. And all the talk is done, they both know that one punch, this thing could be over. Many believe Rico Verhoeven is going to be a rising star. He's considered a prospect here in the heavyweight division. Zimmerman would like to send him back down to earth. Yeah, back down the rankings too. Although Zimmerman is higher ranked than Verhoeven and does own that uh, KO win over him in the first fight. Just props to our referee, Chris Wagner, for getting in between the two big heavyweights. Big low kick uh, from uh, there. Uh, no man. way. Come on. That was... Uh, he, he, he dropped him with a nice low kick, but then he hit him behind the head when he was down. That's two things. You know, that's a good call by the referee. What he's doing yeah. is he's taking yeah. away a point from Rico Verhoeven for that shot. Good call by the ref. Cannot do that. Just let it go. Time in. Fight! Too much emotion. Maybe Zimmerman getting in the head of Verhoeven. That was a big and costly mistake. Jeez, there's that low kick again. Verhoeven's coming in with everything in the kitchen sink. He, uh, you know what? Zimmerman likes that kind of a fight. He wants a brawl. Zimmer oh, oh, oh. Look from at Zimmerman. Now we've got the Whoa. big boys exchanging. Great action here in the first round. Oh. Zimmerman saying, you want something? Let's do it. For whom says, let's, let's. 41 knockouts for Zimmerman. Guy has ridiculous power in both hands. We are under a minute to go in round number one. Verhoeven can't get too overzealous here because Zimmerman is always dangerous early. And if the rap that Verhoeven says about Zimmerman being a party animal, and if I take him late in the fight, he'll get tired, I'll finish him, then he wants to make sure he's, he's still around to do that. Doesn't want to walk into a Zimmerman right hand or left hook. Well, that definitely was the game plan from Verhoeven was to get Zimmerman into the second and third round. He thinks he has a huge advantage if that happens. Under 20 to go in round number one. But the way he's fighting now is he's really fighting like he's trying to crush him. Especially in those punching exchanges. Ten seconds. Zimmerman with these flying attacks. He's going to get tired doing that. Well, you wonder if emotions got the best of the young 24-year-old Rico Verhoeven. Well, Verhoeven had a nice low kick sweep, and then he punches him behind the head when he's down. That's two ultra no-nos here in glory. Can't punch the down opponent, and you can't punch it behind the head. Uh, Zimmerman comes in blazing. Uh, the right hand landed, the flying knee missed, another right hand landed. Zimmerman really fighting with emotion, thinking, oh, you want a street fight? Let's do it, whatever. But it's one of those things where they both got to keep their emotions in check, otherwise they're both going to get tired, or at least the one who gets the more emotional. Well, somewhat surprising that Rico Verhoeven and Errol Zimmerman are entering into the second round. Yeah. And here comes Zimmerman firing. Oh, boy. They're throwing some serious lead here. You can feel the glory ring shake. These two big heavyweights go at it. Glory 9, New York. Oh, man. They both throw low kicks, and Zimmerman cut the outside of Verhoeven. Good shot. 
For all the latest news and information about our upcoming tournaments, fighter videos, and profiles, visit GloryWorldSeries.com. Straight kick from Verhoeven. Nice retaliation from Zimmerman. Ooh. Zimmerman is trying to time that right low kick of Verhoeven with his straight right hand. Verhoeven again with that push kick. It's getting closer to really landing that one and doing some damage. Low kick and counter from Zimmerman. Zimmerman up against the ropes. Combination from Verhoeven, who's three and two in his last five fights. Same record for Zimmerman. Oh, Zimmerman just misses with a strong right. As we expected, Verhoeven is the better technical fighter, but Zimmerman has got a whole lot of power. Yep. Doing everything with evil intention. One of those shots lands. It's good night. Yeah. One minute to go in round number two. Zimmerman gets a left hook through. Yeah, that slide, that was a little bit of a slider punch. Caught uh, Verhoeven a little bit on the temple, but it, it slipped off his head. High kick from Verhoeven. Zimmerman said he came into this fight very focused, trained very hard for it, which isn't always the case when you speak about Errol Zimmerman. Yeah, but sometimes when you've been a veteran of 109 fights, you get sick of training. Good point. Oh, that was a very accurate kick, but didn't have a lot of power on it. It, it was partially blocked by the glove, but Zimmerman did throw it, and it did partially land. But I think Verhoeven is the busier fighter here in round number two. Oh, for sure. Rico Verhoeven ended that second round with a flurry of shots to the body. Check out the historic Hammerstein Ballroom here in New York City. Great crowds here tonight in the Big Apple to see the U.S. debut of the Glory World Series. Capacity crowd waiting to see that man in the finals, Tyrone Spong. Resting before he gets back into the ring to take on Daniel Olunga. Looks pretty relaxed, too. Yeah, looks happy. Final round between these two heavyweights, Errol Zimmerman and Rico Verhoeven. Tough fight to call so far. Steven, who do you give the advantage to? Well, definitely Errol Zimmerman won the first round because of the point deduction. It was a relatively close round, and I don't think either fighter had seized a lead enough, so that may be a 10-9 round because in glory, just because you get a, uh, you know, something like a point deduction doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, going to be a substantial difference. The second round, definitely Bert Hogan won. So the winner of this round, in my opinion, will win the fight. Zimmerman throwing with bad intentions now. Oh, we had a low, low shot. Yes. That knee. Knee. Yeah, he's That's gonna, low from Verhoeven. Yeah, he's going to have to take some time. You good to go? Yes. Let's go. Fight. Well, we'll see if Rico Verhoeven is true to his word. He can pick up the pace here in the third round, and we'll see if Zimmerman fades. Right now he's looking fresh as he delivers a shot, but Verhoeven counters with a kick to the body. Yeah, Verhoeven with that right low kick to the back leg. It's such a, a unique weapon, but look at, you know, I'm telling you, they're going one for one. They really are exchanging the big men. 
in the middle of the glory ring now. Low kick, Zimmerman. Here comes Verhoeven. Yeah, Verhoeven, that, that was a nice combination. And a nice low kick to end things. Verhoeven using that jab to the body. He's trying to get, you know, Errol Zimmerman to thinking about that. See, look at that. Oh, down goes Zimmerman. That is something that's going to, it could win the fight for him. Not that he won't stop Errol Zimmerman like that. But that inside of that right leg of Zimmerman has got to be hurting. There's go Verhoeven opening up now in this third round. Misses with a flying knee. Zimmerman throwing some leather. Holding on under a minute to go in this third and final round. Oh, Zimmerman just misses. Could have had a low kick. 45 seconds to go. Who would have thought this one would go the distance? Zimmerman delivers the kick to the ribs, but slips. See, Verhoeven is making Zimmerman look bad here. This could be something that uh, wins the fight for Verhoeven, but he's got to be careful with that big punch, man. Even with 20 seconds left. Straight jab got through, delivered by Verhoeven. Seems to be the fresher fighter as these two heavyweights battle it out here in the third and final round. One of these fighters will be moving up in the glory heavyweight rankings. One of them will fall down. And there's a show of class from the two, Verhoeven and Zimmerman, congratulating each other. Let's take a look at the highlights in that third round, Stephen. Yeah, uh, he comes in with a nice low kick on the inside and basically knocks uh, Zimmerman off balance, and Zimmerman goes down as a result. Uh, it's not called a knockdown because there a lot of damage wasn't made. Uh, here's another one. He goes right under the roundhouse kick, and down goes Zimmerman again. Makes Zimmerman look bad, and makes the judges like Verhoeven first, but not a knockdown. But neither of those counted as a knockdown. No, because he wasn't grimacing at pain. If you kick a guy in the head, and he goes down, and you have to do his eight count, because he may, might not get up. He jumped right back up for both those low kicks. Looks pretty painful to me, but I believe it when the fight professor tells me. Yeah. So the uneducated people that haven't ever uh, experienced what uh, Zimmerman experienced, it, it may look like it's uh, bigger than it is, but those are like sort of like sweeps. He wasn't grimacing in pain, getting up slow, stumbling, falling back against the ropes, none of that. Well, we'll see how the judges score this one. A very close fight between Rico Verhoeven and Errol Zimmerman. Find out our winner. We go into the glory ring in Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we turn it over to the judges' scorecard. Here is their decision. Two judges scoring about 29-27. One judge scoring it even 28 apiece. For your winner, by majority decision, fighting out of the red corner, Rico Verhoeven. Okay, Rico. Rico, a lot of emotions. A lot of emotions in this fight. There were a lot of emotions before the fight. There was some smack talk back and forth with you guys. What's going through your head right now, Rico? Yeah, you already can read it from my face. I'm really happy. You know, the first round, yeah, I made a, yeah, what we call a mistake. You know, I was just in the heat of the fight and I kept going. So, for Errol, I'm sorry, you know. It's against the rules, so. But for the rest, everything went as game plan. First round, I keep my distance. 
Keep moving, keep moving. He got tired, and the rest you guys saw. What do you think was the difference in this fight? Uh, I think, like I said before, mentally. You know, I've, uh, last year I fought Semi Shield, so who can hurt you worse than that guy, you know? Yeah, that's definitely true. And one more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him. Will we see number three, Rico Verhoeven. Well, it could set up the rubber match between the two. But Verhoeven came in ranked number 10 in the heavyweight division. He shoots all the way up to number seven. And Zimmerman goes from number eight down to number 10. So despite losing a point in that first round, Verhoeven improves his record to four.